Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be checking out this massive amphibious vehicle. We're going to be starting here driving up along this road all the way to this fishing village and then picking up four passengers and their cargo. Then dropping into the ocean because this thing is amphibious, we're going to be taking them to Calopsidiotis Chemical Storage. I guess that's where they work. Anyways, the first thing we're going to have to do is get into this thing and and I do not know where the entrance is. Is this the entrance? Oh yeah, this is like a ramp. Okay. Good thing I checked underneath the creation so we can raise the ramp back up. And now we're inside on the bottom floor. It looks like this is the engine room. Okay, let's keep going. It looks like up here is a cargo hold. This is probably where we're going to be putting the luggage that we're transporting. I think that's it from the bottom floor. All right, this is now the second floor. I think this is where we're going to be putting our passengers. Oh, look at this. There's like a balcony thing where we can see where the luggage is. That's cool. If you go back here, this is the back of the vehicle. It looks like this is a room with some equipment. I'm guessing this is the same thing. Oh, no, this is a medical room. Cool. And then at the very back here, we have the top of the engine room. We've got some more buttons and switches. I think that is everything aside from the cockpit, which is right here. Let's hop into the seat. Oh, this is a passenger seat. Wait, where are we? Oh, we're right here. Oh, this is the cockpit. It's like one of those things you see on a submarine, right? Anyways, I guess this is just a viewing port. That's cool though. And I just noticed while in photo mode, there's actually a hatch on top where we can get onto the top of the creation. And I'm guessing this is a ladder to the actual cockpit. The fact that this has three floors is just crazy. All right, the Spee S13 Storm. Do we have to do anything else? Can I just press W? Oh, the parking brake's on, of course. Can we just drive forward now? Okay, so it turns out that you have to actually press the ignition button on the monitor. Yeah, there we go. Now the engine is on. All right. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Wait, is that going to touch the top? That's not good. Is there a way to lower that? Uh, no, I think we're stuck inside this hangar. Okay, so I did a little bit of a modification. I removed the top. I just cut it off. It should not affect the creation at all. And it's only just going to make it so that we can actually get out of the hangar. This is such a gigantic creation. I also love the exterior. The exterior of this creation is so detailed. There's so many parts just everywhere along it. All right, then let's follow this road. We actually double the width of the road. This thing does actually not control very well. I'm going to be honest. It loses its grip constantly. We just we just knock down a tree. This thing's so heavy, you can just knock trees away. Anyways, if we follow this road, we're going to follow it and keep right until we get to this Y intersection. Then we turn left and follow the road. It should bring us down to the fishing village, I'm pretty sure. Hey, where did that red and white piece just come from? Did that fall out from underneath us? Also, this thing is insanely annoying to control. Like, it cannot keep itself on course. You know what? This thing can't handle the ground, like, at all. I think this thing's main purpose is ocean travel. I mean, the fact that it can drive on land is cool, but it really doesn't work. So we're gonna just jump off this island and swim over to the location we're gonna pick the people up at. Oh, and there's one of those white and red pieces again in front of us. That's so weird. It's kind of worrying that blocks are falling out of us. It's strange, too. All right, don't mind me just destroying a few containers so I can get into the ocean. Oh, wow. Okay, this thing is pretty powerful. I can just knock these containers aside. And there we go. We should not have any flooding. This thing should be watertight, I hope. There we go. We can put in the clutch it does say 0.8 is max speed so i guess i'm gonna put it there oh wow okay this thing is so much better in the water than on land i love it okay now that we're in the water and we have no roads to fall i might as well set a waypoint you know while we're going over there i want to see how well this thing can fight waves we're gonna bring it up to 50 percent and it doesn't even care at all. It might be because we're close to this island and that means it's not going to be too deep. So the waves aren't going to be too big. Oh no. Oh no. Never mind. The waves are a big problem. We almost tipped over. I don't know if it would have actually tipped over if I had it at 100% and didn't turn it back off. But like if it did, that would be a big problem. You know, this creation is amazing. I just wish the handling on land was better. Then it would be an absolutely amazing creation. All right, there's the dog for the village i do see some houses over there okay we don't have to worry about beaching ourselves because this is amphibious let's turn off water mode 
And now I can just drive up onto the shore. And turn on the parking brake, turn the vehicle off. Okay, I'm pretty sure we've got four people. Okay, it looks like we've got two people here and that's their luggage. So if you guys would just follow me and I'll grab your luggage for you. Let's go. We are going to be going in through the bottom hatch. And where is the luggage compartment? I think it's over here. No, that's the engine room. Oh, yeah, never mind. The luggage compartment is right here. Okay, there we go. And we are going to be bringing our passengers up here and putting them in these seats. And we've just gotten two, which means there should be two more in the other two houses. Okay, here we go. Let's push this luggage over the side. There we go. Totally not dangerous at all. Okay, this is our final person here. Oh, there they are, and it doesn't look like they brought any luggage. Great. Alright, since this is the last person, we're gonna raise the ramp up. And this is- this person's lucky. They get to sit in the nice seat, which is right over here. They get to have a little window to see what's happening outside. Okay, let's get into the captain's seat. Turn off the parking brake and start going into the ocean. Alright, water mode activated, and once we get into the water, the propellers should start moving us forward. There we go. And their location we're bringing them to is pretty far away. I believe it's over here. Yes, here we go. That is four kilometers away. Wow, that's gonna take a while. Wait, what would happen if we opened the ramp while on the water? Oh no, water's coming in. Okay, that's a bad idea. You know, probably opening hatches that are under the water is a bad idea. Okay, to get under the bridge, we're going to be shooting for that larger gap there. Hopefully, we can get under it and nothing will catch on the bridge. I mean, because I got rid of the top antenna, that might mean we won't get damaged, I hope. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, we've got we've got lots of space, haven't we? Oh, yeah, look at that. Even if I didn't remove the top antenna, we would still have space. You know, I just turned on all the lights. I want to see what this looks like in, at nighttime. Mm, well, the front is definitely very bright. It's got like six spotlights at the front. And obviously, there's a nav lights at the sides and the back. But like, other than the nav lights, the sides and the back aren't really well illuminated. Okay, let's turn these back off because they do cause a lot of lag. And change it back to daytime so you guys can actually see stuff. Alright guys, we are here at the island. Now I've just got to find a suitable place to get up onto the island. There really isn't just like a flat beach that I can get onto. Like anywhere okay i think i see a location right there looks okay oh do we even have the power to get up this hill i don't think so wait what are none of our treads touching the ground right now okay that is ridiculous you know what parking brake on i think we can get out here yeah this is good enough let's take the elevator down and get our people out of these seats Oh, look at what the luggage is doing. The luggage is way back here, somehow. And how convenient, because the luggage is over here, I can just, like, kick it down. Alright, there goes all of our stuff. Let's bring our passengers and their luggage to the building. I don't remember what this building does. I've actually never been here that much either. I think it's chemical storage. I think it's a chemical storage plant. Oh, if this is a chemical storage plant and, this, and those people work here, could these suitcases have like deadly chemicals in them? I mean, possibly, right? Okay, we're almost at the entrance and then we'll just leave the luggage here and go grab the people. Okay, let's put these suitcases in that little shed over here. All right, that looks like a good spot. I think everybody's following me. Yep. Okay, here we go. Alright, we have everybody here. Let's just lead them into their room. You know, before we end this video, I want to check out this chemical storage plant. I've actually never been here before. It looks like this might be where like a truck backs up and dumps all its chemicals into this chute. And they probably get stored inside of these tube things. Yeah, that's this is a pretty cool location. Anyways, I'm going to end this video here. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!